Hey, what is up guys? Today I'm gonna be talking about how to pick wood in a lumber yard. So before I actually going into a lumber yard, I was not really aware of all the intricacies that were going into picking wood. And this past week at work, I had the opportunity to go to a lumber yard with one of my coworkers who is much more experienced in solid wood fabrication than I am. And he got around to showing me the different things that you should be looking out for when picking your wood. So the first thing to look out for is cupping or bowing and this is just when the wood is warping or distorted. Normally with rough lumber, cupping is when the board is distorted across the grain and bowing is when the board is distorted along the grain. So the next thing to look out for is color. Color is really important to look out for because depending on where you get your lumber or which tree or which batch it's from or how the tree is cut then you'll get a different color or tone based on those variables and so many more. It's an important decision to make because it'll ultimately affect how your finished piece will look. And you won't always be able to adjust the color of a piece of wood with some finish or stain. The original lumber color will always remain as an undertone. So if you don't get a close enough color, then you might not be able to adjust the color back to match with a finish or stain. Pieces cut out of the heartwood tends to be more saturated than pieces cut out of the sapwood. And this is also another important thing to look out for because when you're purchasing lumber, you can still be purchasing, for example, like walnut, but if the color is different and if you see that it's a lighter shade, then it's going to be much more difficult to match with the rest of your project. Next thing I want to talk about is knots. Knots occur when a tree branch is growing out and the way the board has been cut has left a cross section of the tree branch in the board. They're generally not preferred when selecting lumber because they are normally considered a weak spot in the wood and when you continue to dress them, they might pop out or damage the machine. So if you do find a piece with knots in it, don't put it directly into a planner. That piece should be cut out before dressing. Another thing I want to talk about is the grain. Um, picking the grain is really important because that's ultimately how your piece is going to look. So when you're selecting your pieces of lumber, make sure that you know which piece you want to use as your face and which pieces that don't have to be as pretty. And lastly, I want to talk about the sizing of the material. So when ordering lumber, they normally count in quarters or quarters of an inch. So something like a two inch thick board will be considered actually a eight quarter board or a one inch thick board is a four quarter board and so on. When you purchase lumber, it's normally charged by the board foot and you can calculate this by measuring the boards that you've selected and plugging it into this formula. I'm not really going to go into how the wood is cut because that can be left for a whole other video. But anyways, I hope this video helped you guys have a better idea of what has to go into selecting lumber. And it's always better to go pick the pieces yourself with a cut sheet in hand so you have an idea of what pieces you need and whether or not you'll be able to fit them on a piece of board considering the waste material. That's all there is for this week. If you guys enjoyed this video, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. And if you guys want to join my journey, feel free to subscribe in the box down below. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.